The speed of light in a vacuum is given by C equal 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. The speed of light V differs in every material. We have V equals N over C, where N is the index of refraction of a material. For example, we have index of refraction N equal 1 for air. When light waves move in water, the index of refraction is N equal 1.33 and N equal 1.5 for glass. In the chapter about sound, we found that waves pivot about their slow end when they travel from one region or material to another. This is true for water waves, sound waves, light waves, or for any type of wave. Snell's law of refraction explains how this pivot occurs. Here is the junction or interface between two materials, N1 and N2. The top material has index of refraction N1 and the lower material has index of refraction N2. The dashed vertical line is perpendicular to the interface. Measured from the normal, the incident ray arrives at angle theta1 and the refracted ray has angle theta2. Theta 2 is said to be the angle of refraction. The refracted ray has pivoted toward the normal. This wave is moving from regions of high to low velocity or from regions of low to high index. When the waves move from a region of low to high velocity, the refracted wave pivots away from the normal. The path of the wave is the same whether moving downward or when moving upward. Nature doesn't care which direction the wave is traveling. For example, given an index of refraction N1 that's 1.33 for water, an incident angle theta1 of 22 degrees, and the second material, glass, which has index of refraction N2 equal 1.5, what will be theta 2, the angle of refraction? We have N1 sine theta 1 equals N2 sine theta 2, or 1.33 sine of 22 equals 1.5 sine of theta 2, where angles are in degrees. This means theta 2 is the inverse sine of 0.332, which is 19 degrees. Total internal reflection occurs when waves travel from high to low index or from low to high velocity and the angle of refraction theta 2 is 90 degrees. At that angle Snell's law is then N1 sine theta 1 equals N2 sine 90. Since sine of 90 is 1 we have N1 sine theta 1 equals N2. The critical angle at which total internal reflection occurs is N1 sine theta C equals N2 or sine theta C equals N2 over N1. For example, what is the critical angle for internal reflection when light moves from diamond having index N1 equal 2.5 to air having index N2 equal 1.0? We have the critical angle theta c is the inverse sine of n2 over n1, which gives 24 degrees. There is much internal reflection within diamond, so light mostly exits perpendicular to the surface. This makes diamond extra bright. Here is total internal reflection occurring in a stream of water emerging from a hole in a bucket. The laser beam stays within the water. This is a corner mirror. If you look straight into the center where the three mirrors meet, 
you'll always see a reflection of your eye or the camera, no matter which angle you're looking from. One of these devices was left on the moon in order to return a laser beam and measure the Earth-Moon distance from the time it takes the light to travel to the moon and back. If you look at just two of the mirrors, it's as if it reverses twice so that words are not backward. If the rear view mirror in our car was made this way, they wouldn't have to spell ambulance backwards. If you run this phet.colorado.edu website, you can bring Snell's Law to life. Click on More Tools. Click on the red dot to turn on the laser beam and change the angle of the incident beam. Drag out the protractor. Light travels from the upper material which is air, into the lower material, which is glass. Here, the incident angle, theta 1, is about 35 degrees, and the angle of refraction, theta 2, is about 20 degrees. As you change the incident angle, you can see how the angle of refraction changes. The dimmer red ray shows the portion of the incident wave that is reflected at the interface. To see total internal reflection, we select water as the top material and air as the lower material. Now as the angle of incidence grows, we see that the angle of refraction grows until it gets near about 90 degrees. After that, total internal reflection occurs in which the laser beam stays in the upper region of water. None of it moves into the air.